Morning guys, thanks for clicking on the video and welcome to episode 3 of the Bushcraft Fort Build. Back out today, it's a lovely day today, the sun's out again. If you can see above me here, which I showed you just as I walked in, I've got about five poles going over the top. They are coming back down today because obviously I need to tidy them up, cut a joint out to lay them in and maybe auger them in place so yeah it's a lovely day today finally my microphone cables come so the audio quality is going to be a lot better than episode two it's coming on just nicely the plan is to try and finish the roof first and then work on the back wall and then obviously start on the sides or something then so what i was thinking because this base, I want longevity with this base to be honest guys and there's going to be children using it and stuff like that as well so I could put poles all the way along close in together and put moss on and stuff like that which I'm going to do anyway but because it's going to be here for quite some time I'm going to get a tarp and just weave a tarp through just to give it that 100% security against the rain in the winter and stuff like that because obviously again I want it to be wet in here so stick around I've got quite a few things done at base camp over the last two days but like I said earlier on in this video my friends come out to help me get the roof on and do a few little trinkets around camp and obviously I didn't want to be on camera so I have to respect his wishes so there is quite a few things that we got done which I needed two men for which I'm going to take you around now with the camera and show you it's not much to be honest just a few sway braces and obviously the roof and stuff like that but there's a lot of uh, adjustments to be made as of yet so yeah guys basically the work we've done here is over the space of probably like say over the space of three four days coming out a few hours at a time nothing too drastic we're not spending too much time here all at once so obviously i've got other things to do as well so yeah let's go over and have a quick so as you can see there we've got a sway bracing on the right side and a sway bracing on the left we have put a support through the middle 
And we've dug another hole there. Which is going to be the support on the other side, obviously. For those of you that are wondering why we've left this part open, that's because I have started the fire pit over here, as you can see, and I left the rain to get to it, so it just softened the ground up a little bit, which is going to make it easier for digging. And the concept that I'm doing here, guys, I'm not 100% sure yet until I decide what I'm actually going to make. I've got it on a roll, so when we have a fire, I'll roll it back out so it don't obviously burn the top. And after the fire's out, which I'm going to be cooking on, I'll roll it back over again. So, yeah. Got a little fire going over there. That's what we got done. I understand the tarp at the top is blue, guys, but obviously I had to make do with what I had. Eventually, all this is going to be camouflaged, so you can't see any blue at all or any plastic. Uh, underneath here, I'm going to put a few new poles in so it just takes out the little... Water's puddling a little tiny bit on top of the tarp, but that's because it's not as tight as I want it, so... Yeah, I'm going to adjust all of that today, to be honest. Okay guys, one of the walls is finished, side walls finished. Eventually when all of these walls are up, they're all gonna be. Oh, let's get a focus for ya. Eventually when all the walls are up, they're all gonna be clayed. But that's something that I wanna do in the future when the actual camp 
he's built, you know, stuff, uh, odd little jobs I can do here and there. So what you can see over here, as you can see from the video, when I was using the hand auger and punching in the dowels, I've got two straps which are running along the wall at the bottom and running along the wall at the top with four dowels punched in. Solid as a rock, guys. That is not moving anywhere. I think I didn't actually describe this to you in the old video. Toby, got to play, bud. Sorry if you can really hear Toby panting, guys. He's absolutely red hot here in the UK at the moment. And to be honest, he shouldn't really be out with me. It's too hot for him, man. It's way too hot. But I feel bad leaving him at home, you know. But anyway, here, if I haven't described it to you. See if I can get a bit of a better angle. Right here, guys. Same as the other side. We've got two sway braces in. To be quite honest, we didn't really need these for the structure, but we put them in anyway. Um, with the help of my friend who came last week with me. Um, help me get it into the ground nice and firm. Did a bit of joinery at the top here, and this has got the structure solid as a rock. I'm going to point it out the top that I've got on top of the shelter. And a few of you are probably looking and thinking blue. That's not bushcrafty at all. But what I'm going to get you some camo on it in and put it on top just to just to blend it in a little bit. You know, take that uh, horrible colour off the forest. The walls up eventually. They're all going to be clayed. I'm going to dig a nice clay pit, get a few buckets, and get some proper clay made. But again, that's jobs to be done once the natural base is up. If you've enjoyed this video, guys, make sure you go back and watch the one before this if you already haven't. And if you're enjoying the content, make sure you smash a getting bit. Make sure you smash a thumbs up and. Subscribe to the channel. Peace.